Well, if you can't tell from the seagulls, book break is in Brighton today. It's a little bit wet and rainier than I had in mind for my trip to the seaside, but I guess that's pretty typical of any time an English person tries to go to the beach. So we are here today. I'm going to be joined by a very special guest YouTuber who is giving me a tour of all of the best indie bookshops in Brighton. And I absolutely love the city, so I'm so excited to get the bookish inside tour. Let's go and meet our guest. This is Harriet. Hey. This is Harriet Rosie, who is a Brighton based booktuber herself and has very kindly agreed to show me around. So I'm so excited. It's so nice here. I'm so <laughs> jealous that you guys live here. <laughs> We're starting here at the Book Nook, which looks adorable. So, can you tell me about this place? Yeah, so it's an independent children's bookseller in mm -hmm. Hove. It's won Children's Bookseller of the Year three times. And Impressive. it's a really nice place because they do a lot of events, like bringing parents bringing their kids in here they do readings and events oh, okay. and, and yeah it's just like a nice little place to be it feels like a lot more than just a bookshop yeah lovely and it looks so cute and I love the name book nook as well yeah, so perfect cute. for it yeah <laughs> let's go have a look inside We've just left the book nook. That was so cute in there, I loved it. What a lovely shop, so colorful. I could have just spent like hours in there in the cafe. So where are we off to next? Uh, now we're going to City Books. Okay. It's only like a five minute walk this way. Fantastic. Uh, and that's an independent adult bookstore. There are literally stacks of books here. I could be here all day. I can see why this bookshop is so famous. It is amazing. Yeah. I literally want to move in and live here. Yeah, you can spend hours here. Yeah. There's so like many books. Piles of books. And they're doing this really amazing thing. They just gave me this poster um, for Independent Bookshop Week where they're going to have their recommended summer reads up. And if you buy one of those books, they give you a really cute little postcard. And then if you send them a review of the book, they'll put it up on the shelf. So we are going to go over lunch and write our own postcards for yep. books that we've chosen. So I've picked to review A Thousand Ships because I absolutely love this one. This one has already been mentioned on Book Break and I will link to that video, but it's a Greek myth retelling that retells the story of the Trojan War from the perspectives of all of the women and it's so much fun so that's going to be my review and i'm going to be recommending it's not about the burqa by mariam khan which is a, a non-fiction essay collection mariam khan is the editor and they're all about like what it's like to be a muslim woman living in england today and it's amazing it really is it's so good yeah so we're going to go and have lunch now and write our postcards So that was an amazing bookshop. Yeah, and it's won loads of awards, including yeah. I think last year it won the best book in Sussex. I think amazing. you can see why. Oh yeah, yeah, absolutely. All that browsing made me hungry. So yeah. where are we going to go for lunch? Uh, we're going to go to the Trading Post, further into Brighton. Fantastic. <laughs> We're at the Trading Post Cafe and we're going to write our postcards with our recommendations to send into City Books. Okay, it has finally started raining, so we're now sheltering yeah. inside, so what is this bookshop? Uh, so we're in Books for Amnesty, which, like it says on the tin, the money goes to Amnesty. They sell new books and secondhand books, and all the money goes to charity. Amazing, so we're actually like doing a good deed by being here. Yeah, sure. It's really nice in here, they've got such a good selection. We've already both found yeah. something that we wanted to buy. Yeah. And it's just got such like a nice welcoming vibe I really like, with like, the yeah. signs everywhere saying I welcome refugees. It's just really, really nice shop. Yeah. Yeah, great choice. Okay, on to the next. Okay, so where are we now? Uh, we're at Dave's Comics, mm -hmm. which is a independent comic store. They okay. do all kinds of comics, weekly issues, and they also do like kids books. Okay, cool. And they do, they do like such a nice range. They do like non-fiction graphic novels. They do everything here. I'm a complete like graphic novel beginner. Yeah. So I feel like 
You'll have to show me around a bit on this one. Oh yeah, I used to come in here all the time. Okay, I really brilliant. miss it. Okay, let's go over there. I love these comics so much. Graphic novel shops are very colourful. I love yes. that. Really like fun, <laughs> bright places to be. Yeah. And I didn't realise they have so many graphic novels about like interesting kind of social justice topics yeah. and stuff. That's really loads cool. Loads of non-fiction and like memoir type graphic novels, loads of stuff. Yeah, yeah. that's awesome. Really cool shop. So we're at the open market, which is like a big open but covered area, which is good when it's raining like today. So we're going to go and find Yubu Books and the smallest bookshop in Brighton. Yeah. Let's go. Books and the smallest bookshop in Brighton kind of combined, they share a space. Yeah, honestly, for like such a tiny space, they have so many books. It's it was quite amazing. really high up the wall. Yeah, you literally had to like squeeze your way between the shelves. Okay, final stop. Where are we now? Uh, so we're at the Kemptan Bookshop. Mm -hmm. They have their own press called the Bookroom Art Press. Okay, amazing. Uh, and they have like they specialise in doing fine art from Brighton artists and they sell them up in print books and, and share Brighton art. Thank you for showing me all of those bookshops. You're welcome. I have it's loved such a nice day. all of them. It's been really nice. Brighton is so lovely. Yeah. I feel like I have a fate like each of the bookshops were a favourite for different reasons. Yeah, they're all so different. Book Nook, it was like the most kind of fun and lively. Yeah. Um, and then City Books was the most like I could just be lost in there for like literal hours. Yeah, they have stacks of books that you could just search through. So much stuff. Yeah. Um, Books for Amnesty felt the most like warm, it made me feel really happy, like yeah. it was this really nice welcoming environment. And the people behind the counter like wanted to talk to you about the books. Yeah, so that nice. was really nice. Yeah. Dave's comics was just like a, a really new yeah. experience for me which was really cool and like yeah. the most... Loads of different things. Yeah, really nice yeah. like unique stuff in there. Um, smallest bookshop in Brighton, mm -hmm. the most like most amount of books I've ever yeah. seen in such a small space. Yeah. <laughs> that was cool. Yeah. Um, and then this one, Kemp Down Bookshop, is definitely the prettiest. Yeah, and it has such a calm atmosphere. Oh yeah, I could like sit here and nice read, I think, for a long time. Yeah, yeah. feel very relaxed, yeah. very relaxed. So yeah, they've all been absolutely lovely. Such yeah. a nice selection of bookshops. So thanks for coming along on this bookish tour of Brighton. Do give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment below if you have a favorite Brighton bookshop of your own. And of course, do hit that subscribe button for new videos every Thursday. Coming up next week, we have got your summer packing sorted with a list of all of the best books to bring in your holiday suitcase this year. And while you're waiting for that, you can always go and follow us over on Instagram at BookBreakUK. See you next time. <laughs>